Hi everyone, uh, I'm Marcin. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, exoplanets. Uh, uh, just uh, as a side note, uh, my site Znat is uh, has taken exoplanet under a patronage, media patronage, uh, because we thought that this game is really good. Uh, and it would, be, it would be great if it would come out. Now the board and dice uh, uh, has a Kickstarter campaign uh, going on, and we I encourage you uh, very much to take a look at the game. Uh, but this uh, is not a paid review. I was not paid to do this. Uh, it's not a full-fledged review because I didn't play it a lot. I played a couple of times with two and three players. Uh, mainly with two play players, uh, uh, and I just want to talk a little bit about the game. I will show you how it's played. I will tell you what I think about it, uh, and uh, why I think you should back it. And so uh, let's go. Uh, I will tell you about the rules. Uh, there will also be a. Uh, uh, couple of rounds, three or four, uh, of uh, a play uh, with my wife that we recorded so you can see how the game is played, not only the rules. So go ahead, uh, watch this uh, and in a moment I will tell you a little bit about the, the rules themselves. Uh, first of all, I will tell you a little bit about uh, quality of the materials here. Uh, this is a prototype, but the graphics is all final. Some of the, the, the components, like those crystals, are, are also final. Uh, though, those tiles will be cardboard tiles, and dependent on how the Kickstarter will end, it will be 1.5 mm or 2 mm thick. Uh, so about the gameplay. Here you can see a setup for two players. More players means more planets, more uh, tokens uh, available on those uh, special effect tiles, but about those in a minute. Here we've got a sun, and around the sun we've got several orbits with planets, uh, with spaces for planets that uh, players will create, and uh, then on those planets we will create life or even uh, species and for those life tokens and species tokens players will uh, get points at the end of the game. Also uh, during the game players will get those space tiles uh, that have some uh, special condition, special goal uh, and if a player can will fulfill this goal uh, he or she will earn for, for this example, five points. Uh, those goals are explained on reference sheet. Uh, it's not that bad. Even after uh, my first play, at the end of the first play, uh, I was able to deduce from the name of the, of the goal uh, what what's the goal is. Uh, so it's not that bad. We've got a reference card uh, for all the goals in the game and all the icons that are also visible here at the bottom of those tiles uh, and that's the that's the main goal of the game to get the most points uh, each round uh, starts with taking two tiles uh, two planet tiles from the back and choosing which one of them we want to create and put it somewhere on on the board uh, the second tile will be uh, discarded onto one of those two spaces. If we don't want to take the tiles from the back, we can always take one planet tile from here and put it on the board. Uh, when I put it on the board, um, I will get resources. I will get resources uh, based on those icons. I have to put uh, the planet next to another planet, so there can be empty spots, and I will get uh, the resources that will be adjacent to each other. So here I will take gas and water, there is also energy here. Uh, so for example, if I will put it 
here. I will take two water uh, markers and also I will get one energy from the sun. This is also a clock uh, of the game. Uh, if the player will take the last energy crystal from the sun, the game will end and we will uh, score points. Uh, when I place the planet here, I take the goal that was beneath it and I see that I will want to uh, fulfill different evolution level. Uh, also, there are some special effects that I can play if I don't want to fulfill or I can't fulfill this this goal, but about this in a minute. Uh, so I have this tile. Uh, now, after creating a planet, I can create life. Uh, each planet has a cost of creating life on it here at the top. Here, for example, are free resources, uh, energy, water and gas, but it's sometimes two or one. Uh, dependent on the cost of creating life, each token at the end of the game will uh, be more valuable for the player. F uh, if the cost is higher, this uh, life token at the end of the game will be uh, worth more than, than creating life on a tile that has only one resource to create life. So for example I want to create uh, a life here and here. Uh, so I pay one energy crystal and one energy crystal for here. And each time I create a life on a new planet, on a different planet each turn, I will take stimulation markers from this creation effect tile. Uh, if someone will take the last uh, stimulation marker from, from this tile, then every player who got gots uh, those markers have to return it to the tile and will earn one, uh, one uh, crystal of any kind for two such, uh, such markers. So the game uh, uh, encourage us to create life on different planets, not only on one, because if I will create uh, life only on one planet uh, this round, I will uh, take only one such token. So it's a clever mechanism to to encourage uh, diversity in, uh, in the universe here. Uh, also, uh, I can put more tokens uh, each round or in a, in, a cons in in next rounds, so I will earn more points. But the um, the highest level of life that I'm, that I can create here is four. But it's not that I will t put fourth cube. Uh, after placing fourth cube, I will create species, and the player who creates species on uh, on such a planet is the only player that will earn points on such planet. For example, if red player and purple player were present on the on the same planet, uh, and if the red player would create species, the purple player will have to take those cubes back. Uh, he or she will earn uh, one resource for each cube that uh, is discarded from from such a planet as a as a consolation prize. But still, this planet will earn points only for the red player. In such a situation, uh, purple and red player will earn equal amount of, of points here. So it's a little bit of area majority on each of those planets and a race uh, to create species on the planets that we are interested most in. Uh, after creating uh, a life on, on planets, we can play our uh, goal ta space tiles and, and fulfilling our goal. Uh, only uh, then we will earn points. Even if we have some uh, space tiles and we reach the goal but we didn't play it, we didn't announce it that we managed to fulfill it, uh, only then we will score those points. But if we don't want to fulfill this goal, we can play it as an effect. This effect will go below one of the planets that doesn't have uh, such, a, such a goal beneath it. 
there are sometimes uh, special effects, immediate effects like this. So if we put it under planet, uh, the player who will do it, do it will take two resources of any kind. But sometimes there are special effects like this one. Uh, if we put it here, each planet on this orbit, the first orbit, will uh, give plus two points for a player, player controlling this planet. There are also, of course, uh, negative points that we can put uh, on some tiles and mess with other players. But playing uh, the, those space tiles as, as an effect, well, it's not always a good idea because it will cause some uh, disturbance uh, in our galaxy. For example, this, to uh, this icon says that if we play it as, effect, as an effect, we have to take one solar flare uh, token. And, uh, similar as with this creation tile, if all tokens are taken from uh, this effect tile, then the solar storm happens. And each player who has those tokens will have to discard two or three if he has the most uh, of those tokens. Uh, he will have to, he or she will have to discard gas tokens. Uh, there, are, there is also a black hole, and if we play a tile with this icon, we have to take a fusion marker from the black hole. And if all fusion markers are taken from the black hole, of course, the black hole appears and each player who has taken those markers has to discard a space tile from their hand. So, sometimes you will you'll have to discard a goal that you are trying to fulfill or uh, some effect that you wanted to play if a black hole will appear. So, you have to be very caref careful when to use those effects, uh, so to mess with other players, not with yourself. And that's it. After taking the last uh, token, uh, we score points for our goals and for our life and species token on each planet. As I said earlier, uh, the life token is worth one point per each uh, resource that we need we had to use when creating a, a life here so for example this will earn me only one point but on a planet that uh, we have to have three resources to create life this one uh, one uh, cube one life uh, token will earn me uh, three points species is five points per uh, each of uh, the resource symbols on the top. So here the species, to to uh, species will earn me 15 points, here is 5 points. And that's it. The game takes about um, half an hour. Wait a second, I will tell you a little bit about it. Uh, so this is Exoplanets. Uh, currently the Kickstarter is ongoing. Uh, I hope that on Monday when this will be aired uh, it will be 100% and all we have to uh, look after are the stretch goals, uh, which are also fun. Uh, additional space styles, additional planets, uh, uh, thicker uh, components, so it looks uh, very nice. Uh, this game uh, is really nice. Uh, I heard that I'm not the only one who said that, but it reminds me a little bit of Suburbia. Maybe because you expand your universe, your buildings, uh, or your uh, planets, those goals that you're trying to fulfill. Uh, it gives me this a little bit of Suburbia vibe. Uh, it's a little bit faster. So maybe if you like Suburbia, check it out, because very fun, it's about 30-45 minutes, it's very fast, there is a lot of interaction here, maybe not a lot, uh, but there are some though, those special effects that you can play and mess with other players uh, if uh, other players ha have uh, 
planet species uh, on a certain uh, orbit, uh, you can mess with them and uh, give them minus three points on each of those planets. Uh, for example, always consider if you want to play this effect tile because maybe the next player will trigger black hole or the solar storm that will hurt you. So you have to be very careful about that. And it's always fun if you will trigger the black hole that won't uh, hurt you uh, and to hurt other players. That's always fun. Uh, the components, the graphic design is looks great. The designer of the game, uh, Przemysław, is also uh, a graphic designer uh, for this game and it looks very nice. Once again I encourage you to check out the Kickstarter campaign for Exoplanets and back it up. I think that's it, so take care.